Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8, Jojo Lane. Chapter 86, The Head Doctor of TG University Hospital Part 3. Takes the Future. At Paisley Park. Is on the cover? Mamazuka's badly hurt. Legs are coming undone. The moment he notices, he's already badly hurt. Were you attacked? Uh, yeah. Darn it. Where's that doctor? Is he really 89 years old? We gotta expose that doctor's real identity. He's got to be just pretending to run away, but actually attacking somehow. Look around. May push in a wheelchair. May look in the way. He's smoking a cigarette and he just flicks it. People buy cars. All my attention was tracking him. The stretcher with a boy in the ICU. The chair in the waiting room. Then the umbrella stand in front of the automatic door. When I was chasing after that doctor, I touched those things and fell. At the time, I thought tripping over those things had all just been an accident. I thought they were nothing worth thinking about. I thought I just slammed into some umbrella stand. There's a bus, but some power is knocking to me in some abnormal way. This is a stand attack. Okay, power retraction. It just might be possible that the head doctor is causing himself to be pursued. So then, all the way back to the head doctor's office. And I knocked against the ICU do glass door. He's still bleeding from his finger. Trip. And Yasha's looking back. Oh, he's on the bus. That's just now. That was that doctor, huh? He's escaping on the bus. Don't follow him, you two. Uh, we need to know who he is first. If you follow him, you'll knock into something. Mabuzuku san, what is going to knock into us exactly? I told you, just something. Yosuke, you said you saw a stand on the staircase? I got a glimpse of it too. I saw it above the umbrella stand. He's advised to pursue him again. The pursuit is the switch. Until we figure out that the head doctor's identity. Pursuing him is just too big a risk. So now, we have to figure out his identity? Inside the bus, that doctor looked this way. We're going to see his face? And you have to at least get a view of his face. There's no other information about him anywhere. We don't even know his real age. If we don't act now, we're going to lose him. Taking the cell phone? Wait. Uh, Mamazuka's trying to get up and <laughs> stumbling. Ugh. Yasho John, she's actually running after it. Hmm? Ugh, darn it. Josuke, look in that window. He's in there. There's a gate up ahead. The bus should slow down and come to a temporary stop there. Okay, she's trying to take a picture. And here comes the cigarette butt. Oh. Shoot up? Ah. Uh -huh. in the come on the palm. Uh oh. Uh ah, -huh. he's falling over. Huh? Yasho John. Uh oh. Sizzling on him. Hold on. We shouldn't just chase after him. Amazuka san is right. Something will knock him to us. Josuke. He's turning his face. His face. I. I can almost, almost see it. Just a little more. Looking over. I can almost see it. Stop. Don't chase after him right now. And he's looking. Turn this way. Did she get a picture? And can you buy a car? What? Okay, soft and wet's coming out. Okay, did he get her out of the way? And they just gaze. Pushing himself with the bubbles. Okay, they're both out of danger right now. Oh. Falls on the ground and bubbles are popping. Soft and wet. Yosuke. Yasho. Mamazuki's still coming after. The guy's trying to get out of the car. Ugh. This guy. We fall him and we get attacked. Okay. Rebreathing. Yasho chan, are you okay? Did the body of the car make contact with you? I'm I'm fine, okay? 
But Josuke, what about you? Josuke, that's good. Oh. Josuke, did you collide with the body of the car? Did you trust the car or the bus at all? You stopped and went ding? With me. There was a gap in time before some attack came. Still don't see anything. We can't predict which direction the attack will come from. I didn't touch the car. I'm fine. Okay. My hand is bleeding from something earlier. So he could still be affected by something. No, he got touched by the super butt. And there goes the bus. Just forget about following him. For now, at least. I got this dude. Oh, dude was smoking. He got some blah blah in my freaking mouth. What's that sailor guy's deal? I don't give a care whether you people are all right or not. Huh? You. The guy with the bleeding hand. You were swinging that around right in front of my face when you were running back there. Huh? Hey, I'm talking to you, sailor guy. I swear to God, you got some mouth. Oh, wait, you got blood in his mouth? All right, a-hole. What the heck sort of illness did you come to the, this hospital with? Ah, oh, you freaking guy? That neck breaks around his neck? This is odd. Could it be? Don't run away from me. You better cough up some money for my medical bills. And for pain and suffering. There goes the cigarette out of his hand. Josuke, don't get near that guy. Get away. Oh. Can I grab him? Oh, soft and wet coming in. Oh, did you just break his neck? Wait, what? People are staring? What just happened? I don't... What was that? Josuke, this is bad. There are people who saw something. Hey, there are people around. Hello? I'm in the... TV University Hospital parking lot? It's supposed to be TG? Hello? So they're calling the cops? What the? No! What's going on here? Is he, wait, is he dead? Are you okay? I... Don't touch that guy, Josuke. Don't do anything. He's probably already dead. What did you say? Because he got hit by the... blood? That was another collision. Because you were following that doctor, something was repelled from you to him. Is there a way to defeat him? You can't perceive the shape of the attack or the direction it come from. That's the kind of attack it is. Got police coming in? Oh, people are taking pictures? This is bad. We gotta get away from here. Josuke, didn't do anything. to protect me. Josuke was always, was only protecting me. Tell that to these people. They seem reasonable enough. Maybe they'll believe you. But if we stick around here, the police will come and investigate and arrest Josuke, uh oh. And given how drawn out him getting arrested would be, can't say I'm a fan. It's six days until the harvest of the new Rokakaka. The fruit will be ripe before we, uh, he gets out. We have to feed the head doctor. But how do we do it? Ah, uh, I'm not sure right now. Okay. Yasho chan. Yasho. Find us. Get got that? We have to split up from Josuke. So he's still affected and uh, from the ex-boyfriend. Yasho chan, are you okay? Furukun, I called you. I was worried so I came over. I saw what happened. Are you okay? That guy's name is Josuke kun, right? Did he run off somewhere? Huh? No. Josuke didn't touch that guy. No, I understand. I was a ways off. I could see what happened. That guy with the cigarette approached Josuke. Then he went and fell over on his own. And most unfortunately, his already injured neck that was undergoing treatment broke. How's that even possible? Josuke Kun didn't do anything. I can testify to that. Testify? Okay, I don't trust this guy. Really? You'll testify to Rukun? Sure, it's the roof. He's wrapping his arm around her. But you're the one I'm most worried about. I want to stay by your side. Grab her shoulder. Thank you. Okay. 
I'm out of traction. I don't know. Time until the harvest of the new grow kakaka fruit. Five days, one hour, five minutes. Hey. Makorin. Huh? What's happening? Hey. I said, come here, Makorin. Let's go in together. I'm so lonely all by myself. You gonna pull? I can't today. All my makeup would come off. Oh, it's, uh, what's her name? From the PTA meeting. I only came by the condo to pick up some materials. No fun. Okay, then, Makarin. At least stick around for a drink. Oh, you. Uh, you can be such a glutton for attention sometimes. Has she grown up? He's going through a purse to know some money? But seriously, though, you peed me off. Honestly, I just want to kill that freaking Masuba. What? Because she caught a Masuba, that trash woman. Four paw. She said that. Move your full paw. At the school, in front of everybody. Do you dare insult me like that? This is a good woman talking about. Or Paul. My hand. He was talking about my cute little hand. Ugly. Oh, I get it. For Paul. Uh, was she pointing somewhere? That property. Right around there. By the harbor. That hilly area. That gradually rises up from the coast. That land's really valuable. It's got great geographical features. That's the Higashikara family's land. Huh? If you want to know why I got on good terms with that Ursuki fellow of the Higashikara family, it's because of that wonderful land. Huh? And er, uh, that woman, all she is, is a wife. And she said that to me. It makes me so, so mad. She's like punching the... Wall, okay. You're cute when you're mad, though. Makarin. If someone built a casino over there, you could be sure it would be a massive success. It's quality uh, villa land. The harbor, the train station, with an adjacent shopping mall. It could be so much more economically effective that way compared to using it for some like a fruit orchard. She ate fruits? The Higashigara family. That family that's been going for so many generations must have some kind of problem. It might be weakened after that orchard fire. I'm sociable, aren't I? Everything was going so well. But then that accident, or that instant, that Tsurugi, or with Tsurugi that happened at the school, not that I really care who it was that crushed Minachan between the iron gates. I just thought, if I got in close with Norsuki, then good things might happen. But that stupid woman, Misuba. Hey, don't cry. Uh, she insulted me. She got in the way of my plans. Look, I say something, but... Well, I will say that the rumors about how... As a child, eldest son, Jobin, killed a classmate in order to cure his incurable disease. It's pretty interesting, though. Say, Makarin, isn't the view from this terrace great? And you've got a condo and a baseball team. What more can the owner of the Seaton Birdies ask for? Like I said, I want that hilly land. The land this condo and the steam are on. Is honestly not good. The foundation is weak. We had to bend the law a little, and we only just barely managed to get a building permit. So she's really shady, Oliver. Everything past the wall eyes was totally fine, even with the earthquake. Even the tsunami stopped before it reached there. And the Higashigara family has that spot. Eh? Okay. Uh. Did you say something about an incurable disease? What was that about a, a person killing a classmate because of a in, incurable disease? Like I said, it's just a rumor. In the world of children's legends, somewhere in that wall eyes land, 
There's supposed to be ground that cures diseases. If you're buried in the ground, you can do an exchange and you'll be cured. According to the rumor, Jobin transferred his disease to his classmate and got better. Supposedly he killed the classmate and transferred the disease to him. Oh darn, look at the time. I've got to get to the school to pick up my daughter up. I'll come relax with you in the bath next time. And steps on his fingers. Wait, did she, she break him? Ah. Um, Oriro, John, I'm sorry. Your fingers and it popped off. What the heck? Huh? I'll make sure to buy you a whole bunch of new ones later. I'm so sorry. I'll give you way better ones. Nah, it's fine. This ain't a big deal, Makarin. You're always saying how being natural makes one happy, right? By the way, Makarin, how about an, how about that incurable illness rumor? Rumor. You think that was equivalent exchange? Wait, he knows about this? I had a servant buddy a long time ago. Though he's dead now. Wait, huh? He was a ship doctor. He told me a story about that. Wait, it's connected to him? But if I remember right, it wasn't about a ground. It was about a fruit. So he knows about the fruit too. And he's missing fingers. Is he a man? The jacuzzi or a man of the land. So he used to be a sailor. Was friends with was it Kira? Huh. So this chapter is in two parts. Them chasing after her the head doctor, and find out more about his possible stand. It's like, um, pursuit and traction. And then run away from the cops. And then this disgusting lady who wants to, uh, because she got her family's estate, like their land, like build a casino. But she doesn't like fruits. Uh, no wonder Masuba, or, yeah, Masuba called her hands, like, four paws. Disgusting lady. Maybe get in better shape. So, Ojiro, it was about the fruit. Why would, why would you talk about the fruit openly with other people? When you want that kept a secret? What's on his chest? That tattoo? It's like weird X's in his hair. So she's just an all around trashy person. This guy probably too, yeah. Hmm. Is he rock human? Why does he have missing fingers? Was it an accident that happened while he was a sailor, or has he always been like that? Hmm. Well, I don't know. What are your thoughts? And, um, what's his name? Mr. X boyfriend trying to steal. That show. What is he playing at? I'm not entirely sure he's. A good guy. Like, I'll testify. Testify to what? He, like, broke his neck. Don't touch them.
Although they should probably talk to that uh, driver who's almost like running into people. Come on. Wait. They don't want to hear the speed limit by hospitals? Well, yeah, what are your thoughts? If you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.